In this video, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to solve a how to solve a Rubik's cube. Let's get into the video. So a lot of people out there probably want a tutorial on how to solve a Rubik's cube. So I'm gonna do that. I won't be able to fit it in just one video, so it'll be a whole series. This is part one. Today I'll just be teaching you how to do simple um simple movements, how to hold it and stuff like that. And also I'll be telling you how to read like um scripts that tell you what to do to solve a Rubik's cube, like algorithms and stuff. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I've got my Rubik's cube here solved. And the first thing I'm going to be teaching you is how to hold the cube. So, um, other people do it different ways, but how I solve it is I start, so I have the white at the bottom and yellow at the top. It doesn't matter what's on the side, because that will be constantly changing depending on what, what algorithm you're doing or what you need to do. So you hold it with your thumbs on the front like this. Sometimes when you're turning it, your thumbs will go somewhere else. But make sure you always like try and keep them here as much as possible because then it'll help you do the turns. So, um, for, there's loads of different ways of turning it. So, to turn the top face, you use your um, pointing fingers. So, say this way or that way, like that. And then, for the bottom, you use your ring finger, both of them, like that. And, yeah, and then to turn the front face... You have to re-grip your hand like that, and then, so from this side, so you're like that, re-grip your hand, and then, there's different ways of turning it, like if, say you're, say you want to turn the front face, but you're in this position, like you can kind of do that, I find it much harder though, like for now, just as a beginner, it would be much easier just to, just to re-grip your hands, and then, for the back, so um, you just use your ring fingers again, like that. Then um, other, there's also uh, um, there's also the middle which you can turn, which you just use your middle finger for. So you go. And then you can also turn it the other way. You, sp you turn it with the middle finger, but more like that. And then sometimes you you have to like turn like two faces like that or like that or something like two faces. But yeah, you you kind of you you, t you do like you turn the middle and don't hold the other one you're turning so that it turns with it. Now I'm gonna teach you what what letters represent um like what turn. Okay, so there's loads of ways of turning the cube. I showed you all of them, but I haven't told you what they look like on a piece of paper if if you were to write them down. So the most common one is R and L. So when you get a letter, it stands for a certain word, so like right, left, like R and L, and it means you turn it 90 degrees clockwise. So R would be turning it clockwise, so up, like that. And then L would be turning it down because it's the other side, which means it's clockwise, um, which means clockwise would make it go down. And then, so yeah, R and L, R is the right side, L is the left side. Then U stands for um, up, so the top of the cube, so like that. Um, so U would be turning it clockwise, and then, yeah. Um, then there's D, which stands for down, so that would be turning it 90 degrees clockwise. There's F, which is front, so turning the front like that. And B, which I don't think you'll ever get this, but B is for the back, and you turn it 90 degrees clockwise. The last letter that you can get is M. So what M stands for is middle. So you turn the middle like that with your middle finger. I've already mentioned that, I think. So that's all of the rotations, but they're not just 90 degree clockwise turns. There's also different, like, if you want to turn it anti-clockwise, then we, um, it has a apostrophe after the um, letter, so it, it's it's called prime. So R prime would be turning it anti um, anti clockwise, so down. L prime would be turning it um, up because that's an um, anti clockwise. And then, so it, that applies for every letter. And then, if there's a two after it, it, means you do it twice. It doesn't matter what direction; it will always end up the same way if you turn it twice. So U2 and uh, L2 
and um, yeah, it applies for every letter. And also, um, you don't get this very often, but if it's a lowercase, so all letters are capital, but if you get a lowercase letter, it means you turn two sides. So uh, lowercase r doesn't mean you just turn this face, it means you turn both of them like that. If it says on a piece of paper, r u, r prime, u prime, for example, that would be, so r u, r prime, u prime. And here's a little trick you can show all your friends. If you do that um, six times, it solves itself. So r u, r prime, u prime, r u, r prime, u prime, r u, r prime, u prime, r u, r prime, u prime. And then last one, r u, r prime, u prime. And then you can impress all your friends with that. And also, um, if you if um, you're right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't matter. You hold the cube in the same way. And yeah, I think that's all I need to mention. So if you bang a cube, um, this may sound a bit weird. Um, Rub actual Rubik's branded cubes aren't always the best. If you want to get a speed cube, so unbranded, you can get them, but they're not that like reliable. Um, so. Yeah, don't don't get actual Rubik's branded cubes, and it's not going to be like three pounds or something. To get a decent cube, it's probably like ten to twenty pounds. To get like a really pro one, you can spend like up to fifty or hundred pound. So you can buy really expensive cubes, but for a beginner, for just for a beginner, you only need to spend like eight pound or ten pound. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This wasn't a tutorial on how to solve it. I will be doing that in the future, so stay, stay tuned if you want to learn to solve it. The next video I'll, I'll do, I'll show you the first step of solving the cube. So make sure you watch that. There'll be links in the description of videos that I've posted about Rubik's Cubes. You can click one video here, one video here. You can subscribe over here. Hit the notification bell, like the video. Stay tuned for Rubik's Cube videos and I'll see you next time.